If you watched my video on wiring the lights to the Snow Chief Group, uh, you saw that I got these four-wheel drive King lights. Now my only worry about these was how white they were. And they are, they're super white, 6,500, which is, I, I think that's pretty much the whitest you can go. Uh, lights, if you don't know, the higher the number is, the, the whiter it's gonna be. So like a 3,000K light, that's like something you put in your living room or your bedroom or something, something that's not harsh. 6,500 is super white, very harsh, and it can be difficult to look at over long periods of time. Um, I was using these lights maybe about a week ago, driving 45 minutes at night. Where I live, there's no street lights. So it's pitch black, totally and completely pitch black. And after about 20, 30 minutes, my eyes start to hurt a little bit. Now, I don't have the greatest eyes, so somebody, it might not affect other people like it affects me, but I have heard a lot of people say it's difficult to look at white lights like that for long periods of time. If, if it was in a pinch, I think the white lights are really good. I, 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 I believe that. I, but for driving lights, I think I gotta get them to be more yellow. And the way I'm gonna do that is with this film that I bought. This is a yellow film. I bought a square 12 inches by 12 inches. Remember, I only have to cover two lights that are 10 inches by two inches. That's it. So 12 by 12 allows me a lot. I mean, that's like almost, that's almost seven pieces to screw up. Well, five pieces to screw up. <laughs> this stuff was cheap. I bought it on eBay. It came with a razor blade and it uh, came with a squeegee also. This is much like tint in a way where there's a film on the front and back of this. You take one off, it has a sticky resin on one side of the yellow, on the other side, there's nothing on it. You don't have to put it on like tint. If you look, if you look at tint videos where you got to spray it down with some water and both sides and like squeegee it out. In this particular case, as long as you clean the lights, there's really no kind of weird angles like it would on a, on, a, on a driver window. That's something where you need to tuck it in nice and move it around and shift it around. And that's really why that the water, you spray it down with maybe some dish soap and water, just a little bit of dish soap and water. You can maneuver it into place. It helps. It, and also that dish soap helps you like squeegee it out. It's nice and slick. But in reality, something like this on lights, you just get that sticky stuff, stick it right on there. And it's so cheap that you're not gonna, it's not gonna matter, really. I mean, if something were to happen a year from now or a year and a half from now and it falls off, you just cut a couple new pieces and throw it on there. But uh, if you wanna do it the tint way, you can do that, but I'm not. Um, I got some Windex, I clean them off, and we're just gonna stick them on there and we're gonna, we're gonna see how they work. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna work a lot better than uh, white lights, for me, personally. So one thing I should point out before we actually go and test them later on is, is the, the overall look of the truck. It definitely changes a little bit, right? Because we now have yellow lights in the front instead of white. And I will say that I was, I am still just a hair concerned about the difference in yellow. I assume the yellow on the side markers on these headlights and the cab lights are going to match. You would think they're going to use the same color bulb, but maybe this isn't going to match this. It's only going to matter when I'm using them, clearly. But uh, they might be close enough and the angle might be just enough where it really won't matter. Okay, I went out last night and I tested the uh, lights out with the yellow tint on it. Wasn't that yellow? It just had a little tinge of yellow and I think it's because uh, this is just the, the quality of this tint, obviously. We're talking about $5 plus tax, right, off eBay. I'll link it in the description, by the way. Uh, it, it definitely didn't darken it up enough. So. I came back here and I was like, what am I going to do? Maybe I should just order the amber. It's cheap. I just go, go get the amber. And then I thought, you know what? What if I just took a little piece of this, a, a, another piece, and put it in front of the yellow that's already there? Essentially two, two pieces of yellow. And I held it up by, by, you know, with my hand. And I just, I basically just did this. And it, without a doubt, made it a lot darker. And I, 
I can, you could really see it being yellow. It was, it was definitely more yellow. So what I did was, is that I came back into the shop and I cut two more pieces perfectly. And also I'll show you some footage of it being just on this one and not on this one. And you'll be able to see you know, right from this footage that the driver's side is darker. There's no doubt about that. It's clear as day. I put a piece on this one as well and I took it out and I believe um, that, that this is a really good happy medium for me. It's yellow. It's not hurting my eyes. I still got to take it for an hour drive. I only took it for 10 minutes really. So I got to take it for an hour drive, but when it was white, you could, I could totally tell like once I drove five minutes, I could feel something. I was like, oh, this is not going to work out. And the same thing sort of happened when I had one ply yellow. <laughs> we'll call it one ply. This is that I had it on there. And after about 10 minutes, I was like, mm, you know, I kind of feel my eyes straining a little bit right now. So, but with this, I made it to 10, 12 minutes or whatever it was, and I was all right. So I think this might be good. If not, I might order some more yellow and put a third one on. It sounds ridiculous, but in reality, if I do it in stages, I'll end up hitting like the minimum that I need to not hurt my eyes, right? So I I'll have the maximum brightness with no downside, essentially. And that's what I want. I, I kind of don't want to make that jump, that big leap to amber. I don't want to make that big leap because in reality, maybe I could have it brighter. That's, that's, my, that's my theory on this. So as of right now, I'm very happy with the, with the brightness and the quality of the yellow. So... I'll report back once I take a good, real long hour, hour drive in the dark, and I assume, I assume I'm going to be good. If not, we'll, uh, we'll put a third one on or we'll go with Amber. All right, see ya.